Okay guys, today I'm going to be working on a review of the Skag V-Ride. I know I've gotten a lot of requests for this video and I haven't had time to do it, but now that it's winter, I don't have much to do, so today you get that video. This is the 36 inch model with the Advantage deck. This motor is running the Kawasaki FX600V, which is a 19 horsepower motor putting out 603 cc and 32 and a half foot pounds of torque. All of your controls are within easy reach of the driver. The dash consists of the starting key, gear shift, PTO engagement, the choke, and the throttle. Some of the modifications I've done to my mower is adding the pack and grass catch, which if you haven't seen that review, I will put a link in the description. Because I made it to where the shoe block can come on and off, it leaves a quarter inch gap that uh, grass was able to shoot straight up out of. I made this piece of plastic that covers that gap to keep the grass from flying straight up in the air. I feel that Skag has absolutely designed a workhorse of a mower with the 36 inch V-Ride. I love this V-Ride because I am able to get into most backyard gates. Uh, you need, with my extra addition, I have to have right at about 38 inches to be able to fit through a gate. I would say the only con with this mower is the riding platform. The plate does get a little slippery whenever it gets wet which I was able to fix by putting uh, skateboard grip tape on. I've also talked to some of the other guys that ride these mowers and they've talked about the same thing. One thing that I think Skag might want to look at, this is a 2013 model of the Skag V-Ride. So if Skag has made changes to the riding platform, I'm not aware of them at this time. Guys, I thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you in some way. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll, I'll help you the best I can. Thanks, guys.